All right, guys, we got a rain system here, four ton heat pump that I put in. Now, let's look right here. There you go, there's the date. When I got here, the, the complaint is, is that uh, they got it set on 70 and never dropped below 76 the past two days. When I got here, I saw a little ice on the suction line. I'm thinking the evaporator might still be a little frozen. So what I've done is, Riemann Rude's reversing valves energize in the heat mode. So I've got a jumper across red in the reversing valve. I have the system running in heat mode right now to thaw out the indoor coil. I'll let that run like that for a few minutes. Let it thaw out the uh, indoor coil a little bit because we're nowhere close to town. It's not like I can just pull the disconnect and say, okay, well, I'll come back later because we are way out in the country. We're nowhere close to being in town for me to be able to do that. So we're going to do it this way, and then we'll get back to you all as soon as we come up with a solution. All right, guys, I think I got part of our problem, if not the whole problem, figured out. When I was back here, I... I saw this fitting right here through my rubber text and I was like, golly, I said, man, that looks like a sharp bend. I said, I know I don't, I don't bend my stuff that sharp. So I peeled it back. And if you look right here, that's a 90. Now you can see where I made a swage right here. I swedged it and this is where I added on. So all this is original. Somebody's hit this unit with a lawnmower or something. That's a 90 fellas. And then look, it's making like a U instead of a 90. That 90 is almost completely closed off. And then right here, it's all kinked. It's the suction can't get it. It's we're at, we got a problem right here. I'm going to have to pump it down if possible and cut this out and redo it. Somebody definitely hit this unit. All right, guys, I got it cut out of there. There's our 90. Yeah, that's definitely not a 90 anymore. We're gonna use a zoom lock and replace it with a zoom lock 90. I'm gonna prep my tubing, sand it, deburr it, and get it ready. All right guys, have the zoom lock 90 in place. I had to get the Hillmore bender involved a little bit. So just because you have a zoom lock, doesn't mean that you want to give up your bender. The bender still did help me. I had to make a little bend right there to make it fit. So now we're going to lock everything in place. All right, guys, that easy. No torch involved. We're ready for vacuum. Well, nitrogen test, then vacuum. All right, guys, I have the system back online. Uh, the pressures are definitely better. They're not fantastic. Uh, they're definitely not as good as I'd like to see them. But I'm going to sit here with it for a minute and see what it looks like. But earlier it was, shit, it was like an 80-something 80, 80 suction, 70-something suction, and I've added no refrigerant. All I did was replace that 90. And you can see where it got hit right here too. But luckily that, that's not pinched off. That's just a dent, and it's on the service valve. And you can see the 45. It's not really a 45 anymore. Uh, but it's not pinched off either. Uh, the 90 was really what our problem was. But it's it's definitely not freezing up anymore. I mean, it would start freezing up almost instantly. And we're not freezing. I still, uh, like I said, the pressures are not... I mean, it's pretty cold in that house. It's like 68 degrees in there because it's not a very hot day. 
So I'm hoping that's all the issue is, but I'm gonna hang with it for a little bit and make sure everything looks